In this video, we discuss the difference between quantitative and categorical data. Quantitative data is pretty much what you would expect it to be. It's numerical data. Um, it consists of numbers, and those numbers represent counts or measurements. While categorical data, sometimes called qualitative data or attribute data, consists of names or labels, um, not numbers that represent counts or measurements. So if we talk about hair color or eye color, um, or if we talk about names of classes or states, all of that is categorical data. Uh, quantitative data um, would be you know, the number of shoes in your closet, um, measurements, uh, like a uh, number of points that you've earned in a class, that's quantitative data. Now we have to be careful though, because sometimes new, a number can represent uh, categorical data. For example, your um, social security number. That is a number that's used to label you or name you without actually using your name. It doesn't represent a count or measurement of anything. So your social security number would be categorical data. Um, another example of a number that represents categorical data um, would be your student ID. Um, your student ID is again an identifier that's associated with you. Um, so that would be categorical data. Or um, sometimes um, as people are doing data entry, they will use numbers to code for other things. They might say number one represents people with brown hair and number two represents people with blonde hair and one, number three represents people with red hair and number four represents uh, people with other colors of hair. And they put one, two, three, four in the computer associated with each of those subjects, um, maybe in their data set. But if they were to take the average of all those numbers, it really wouldn't make any sense um, because those numbers are just stand-ins for labels and those labels were really the hair colors. So um, categorical data um, consists of labels and quantitative data is a number, it's numerical, or it's numerical data, but that number has to represent something measured or something counted. If it's measured or counted, it's quantitative. If that's a number that actually represents a label or a name, then it's still categorical. So let's look at a couple of examples. We've got weights of supermodels. Is that quantitative data or categorical data? Weights. I hope you said, quantitative data, because if I'm measuring something, if I'm um, collecting weights or writing down weights um, in kilograms uh, or pounds, um, well then I'm, I'm looking at a, a bunch of numbers and those numbers are measurements of these supermodels weights. Um, so that is a piece of quantitative data or a quantitative data set. What about gender, male or female um, of professional athletes? Well, that's a label. We're saying this is male, this is female. We might code zero for male, uh, one for female, or um, zero for female, one for male, but those two numbers don't actually mean anything. Those two numbers are just something that's signifying the category. So when we talk about male and female, those are two categories, so it's categorical data. And then what about this? Shirt numbers on professional athletes' uniforms. Well, those are numbers, it, but are they numbers that represent counts of something? Are they numbers that represent measurements of something? They're not. Those shirt numbers on professional athletes' uniforms just represent categories, um, or not categories, um, names. They represent individual people, and that has nothing to do with numbers, um, or that has nothing to do with counts or measurements, excuse me. Um, even though a number is standing in for that name. So this is also categorical data, even though we're talking about a number. Another example of a numer or a number that is categorical data would be your phone number, for example. That phone number is associated with you um, or associated with a device or something like that, uh, but it doesn't represent a count or a measurement of anything. So that would be categorical data.